On this video, we're going to go over how to do the run-up for a Cessna 172 G1000. So here we are at the run-up area for runway 5. We're getting ready to do the run-up checklist. You can use the POH. Many flight schools will have their own checklist. In our case, we are going to be using the checklist on the G1000. And the way we get there is I will highlight the, I will press the button for the checklist. And I will make sure that we are in the before takeoff. And we're going to accomplish the before takeoff checklist. Parking brake set. Pilot, pilot and passenger seat backs must stop right position check. Seats and seat belts, good on the left and secure on the right. Cabin doors closed and locked. Flight controls free and correct. We'll look to the left, look to the right, behind us, and push the control forward. Flight controls free and correct, check. Flight instruments, check, no red access. There's no red access on the primary flight display. Altimeters, PFD barrow set 2992. Check. Standby altimeter set 2992. Set. And they are within parameters. Alt altitude select set. We have 2000 set. Standby flight instruments. Check. There's no red exit. There's no flag for the, the standby attitude indicator. Fuel quantity check. we slightly above the 13 gallons. And that's what we had during pre-flight. Verifies checks. Mixture control full rich. Fuel selector valve on both. Autopilot engaged. I will press AP. Flight controls. Verify that we can override the autopilot. Left, right, up, and down. Autopilot, autopilot, trim, disconnect button. I'm going to press the trim knob and it would actually disconnect the autopilot. Flight director off. Elevator trim control set for takeoff. Set. Throttle, 1800 RPM. I will look around this, make sure that we're looking into the wind to improve engine cooling. I'm holding my brakes, I will add 1800 RPM. Magnetos, I'm going on the magnetos. I'm going to go one click to the left, take a mental note on the RPM, the lowest RPM, one click to the right, let it stabilize, two clicks to the left, let it settle, two clicks to the right. And we do meet with this criteria or with the parameters set by the manufacturer. Checked, vacuum indicator is in the green, checked. Engine indicators, no red access, checked. Amp meters and bolt meters are positive charge, checked. Annunciators, here's what the annunciators will be. We have nothing showing, that is correct. Throttle, check idle. Gently bring it all the way back. Make sure that the engine's still working and we'll set a thousand RPM. Throttle, check idle. Throttle control, 1,000 RPM. Throttle friction lock, that will be here. We don't have it on our sim. So the throttle control lock is adjusted. Tower frequency will be set for active. We're going to be holding sure we're getting ready to give them a call. Nav frequency set. FMS and GPS flight plan as desired. In this case, we're not going to go into that. Uh, transponder set at this moment. I will set make sure that we are 1200 altitude. CDI soft key to the selected nav source. I'm actually, I will change it. I'm going to press CDI, and what I'll do is I'm going to set runway heading with it 050. Just an airmanship. You don't have to do this. We'll read this notes. Uh, cabin power, 12 volt switch is off. Wing flaps, up or 10 degrees? 10 degrees is preferred, that's what we'll set. Cabin windows closed and locked. 
uh, strobe lights taxi uh, strobe lights on brakes release before takeoff checklist complete if you found this video useful like and subscribe if you didn't find it useful double click the like button